All right, the odds have increased quite a bit that Hurricane Michael will be a Category 5 or an extremely strong Category 4 at the point of landfall in about 19 hours. Dan Lindsay goes 16 viz er sandwich loop of Hurricane Michael. One minute time steps. And Hurricane Michael has gone under rapid intense has started to undergo rapid intensification. Steve Copertino. And just like that, SFMR winds are now up to 110 knots and are extrapolated. Pressures are down to 948 millibars. All right, there are 19 hours to go before landfall. <clears throat> and so, if you dropped it one millibar per hour, that would put it at a 929 millibar storm, which would make it a category four and only nine millibars away from a category five. So you got 125 mile per hour winds now. You got 19 more hours for this thing to speed up, heat up, and become more destructive. The recon data suggests that there's now an eight temperature difference from the inside to the outside eye wall of Michael. This was only four before, likely a sign the core has improved despite being open to the southwest. And so this thing is a monster. It's major, and the waves are already causing flooding in some areas. So, and it looks like an upside down skull there. It's, you know, it's like I said, it's hard to tell coastal people that times have changed. And so, if you can afford to get out of the way, it's probably best to do so. I know that. People won't always listen, so I can just put the information out there and then be really depressed as I do it. Man, the next 12 to 18 hours are going to be crazy. Extrapolated pressure down to 948 millibars, according to NOAA Plane. Flight level winds were up to 130. So that means at the top, it was 150 miles an hour. Jack Sillen, he was always chilling. Except for now, because he's kind of freaking out, saying all these maps are horrifying, but especially the third one, an eastward wobble, would sink the core of likely Category 4 Michael up perfectly with the ideal coastline shape, funnel, and bathymetry shallow for storm surge. Mind you, even the current forecast is extremely dangerous. Skyway Bridge, recreation area in Tampa Bay, already flooded. And... It's got 19 hours before it goes and passes, although Tampa's on the shaft, I think. But here's what I'm talking about. Where Hurricane Michael, five hours ago, was a blobby mess. And it's as I estimated that if this thing was going to become super deadly dangerous <clears throat> storm, it wouldn't be apparent to the public till about 24 hours before. That's how it works, man. In just 30 minutes, the eye of Michael has warmed from a little bit above 60 degrees to now negative 30. Negative 60, negative 30. Just one metric of many that all highlight just how rapidly the storm is intensifying. You can get one minute imagery there. Hurricane Michael expected to be... No, dude, it's going to be a cat four. You can already... You can already know that it's going to be a cat four. And here, those are 50 foot waves, bro. I mean, there's 50 foot waves at the core of it. And then, let's see, what is it? 50 foot wave at the core. And then 35, 25 to 35 foot waves. At the beach. And so I'll probably put 50 foot waves in the title. Because it's true. There are 50 foot waves in Hurricane Michael. And people will get mad. But people will get mad no matter what you do, dude. Philip Pappen again. With her Twitter kicking ass today. While the satellite structure of Michael continues to look ever more impressive. Recon is still finding that the eye wall is now closed in the southwest quad. 
This indicates convection is still weakening before it reaches the upper shear flank, despite a seemingly textbook IR presentation. Gregory1449757. I'm not sure Greg's his real name. Wow, that wrapped up really fast. It has a skull shape again. Very compact and symmetric looking storm now. I is starting to clear out as shown. So, I notice, I mean, this thing is a monster. And so, yep, right now I'm just looking for a little bit of shred of hope in the world because seeing that 337 rivers are flooding in the United States and people are still arguing over dumbass shit makes me sad. I want to say if you are in Florida and having thoughts about leaving, <clears throat> the coast is clear, bro. It's green. So I know if there's a Cat 4, Cat 5 hurricane bearing down on Houston, we'd be getting out of here. But I know that a lot of people are staying, and so may prayers be with you, and may everybody stay cool, and um, hope for a miracle, but I, I highly recommend evacuating if you are in the danger zones. It's given us the signature skull that always leads to heavy losses. So, what did I want to show you guys one more time? Where was it? Here, so, you know, the so the biggest threat is going to be storm surge and waves. And then you got side precipitation coming in. So I was talking about I was going to go out tonight, but then the storm started to rapidly intensify. And so I'm going to stay in and save lives. Probably spend a couple extra bucks and maybe get some tacos or something. Special tacos. Yeah, put gu guacamole in it. I'm celebrating. <clears throat> Not the hurricane. Just the fact that I made 2,000 videos. Okay, everybody stay cool. Unless you're an asshole, then I guess stay an asshole.